Hey guys, today I'll be unboxing some stuff from thecubicle.com. So I ordered quite a lot of stuff, new cubes. So here's just the receipt and business cards. I don't need this at all. Premium lubricants by thecubicle.com. I assume that's because I ordered this uh, Pro Shop MGC6. Yeah, this is also pretty useless. I already know about that. All right, now onto the cubes. I think I'll start with the cheapest. So that is the Maylong 3M. Why is this so difficult to open? Maylong? Um, I'm guessing he has a screwdriver in here, and then a cube stand. So this is the Maylong 3M that's factory magnetized. It feels like really papery even without even turning it. The shades do look a bit darker than the normal Maylong. I guess I'll just do some first turns. Okay, so one thing that I'm noticing straight away is actually how fast this thing is. Most cubes are fast out of the box, but like this cube, especially like the M slices, feel like really light and fast, which I really like. This could be a good three blind cube if you use three style, just because of how easy it is to do these turns. Like I can do some weird slice stuff pretty easily. And as for like the cube in general, really good for like six dollars honestly it does feel a bit blocky but i'm fine with that but if you don't really like blocky cubes then you might want to get something else all right the next most expensive thing is the rs3m 2020 edition once again very difficult to open all right so this looks just like the mailing 3m in terms of packaging okay more accessory boxes i believe this one has a bit more customization yes yeah, so we have Along with the screwdriver that's in there, you also get these adjustment thingies. And yeah, this system is in the GTS3M and WRM, so I'm not gonna explain it. All right, so here's the cube. Uh, this is the Maylong for comparison. All right, so going to first turns. But this one is also very fast. It's very similar to the Maylong. The inner layers are also very fast, which I do like. Compared to the Maylong, this one does feel a bit more like soft, if that makes any sense. It doesn't feel as blocky, so that's that's pretty cool. Okay, the third least expensive cube is this uh, YJ Yuhu V2M. The box is quite damaged, but as long as the cube is fine, I'm good. Okay, YJ Yuhu V2M. People have been mating this, like really fast people have been mating this. This is supposed to be a really good cube, so I'm just gonna see how it performs. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is it feels kind of big. I don't know if, if that's just because I haven't done Mega Minx in a while, or these kind of circular ridges make it feel big. Actually, uh, here is my Galaxy for comparison. They're actually about the same size. Actually, no, this one is slightly bigger by like two millimeters probably. Don't really like that, that it's that big. I'm just gonna try some turns. Okay, this thing is fast. Yeah, this cube is really fast. That's the first thing that I notice about it. It's not much to say. It's, you could probably be slowed down with some, some lube, but I don't really like these ridges actually. It, it, it just feels really weird to hold. I'll do some solves in this later on to see like what types of times I'm getting, but I don't really like how this feels, like just holding it. I might just not be used to it and I might go away after doing a bunch of solves and getting used to this, but yeah, in terms of performance, this thing is great, but the ridges just feel so uncomfortable, really. Second most expensive cube in this batch, MGC2 Elite. This one has coated packaging, so it's gonna be harder to open, as if they weren't already hard enough. All right, first layer of the box has been taken off. Second layer has been taken off. Here we have MGC Elite 2x2 and accessories box. So let's see what's inside really fast. Okay, it looks like standard extra springs, screwdriver, maybe extra magnets, can't really tell. And now for the third layer of packaging. Do we really need this many layers to package the cube? 
Like, it's not that difficult, but... They just want to make opening this stuff hard. Alright, MGC2 Elite. I really like the weight of this. It's in between the Valk and the Tengen. The Valk felt a bit heavy for me, and the Tengen was too light. This is a good in-between, in terms of weight. And the size is 51 millimeters, which I do like. I like it better than 50 because I have larger hands. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, this... This is actually really good. It's, like, incredibly stable, which I really like. Yeah, this cube basically has everything that I want in a 2x2. It has the size, the weight, uh, the speed, and the stability. This cube is so good, actually. This is instantly gonna be a main. The only downside with this is, like, uh, the sound when turning. Like, it's kind of a bit higher pitched. Like, just listen to this. Here's my tongue in for comparison. As you can tell, this one's like higher pitch, but that's really not a big deal. And one thing that I didn't like about the Valk was the amount that it corner twists. This, it can corner twist, but I haven't gotten any. It seems to be like less prone to twisting than the Valk. And that's all I really have to say about this. Last cube, Pro Shop MGC 6x6. I got this one because my other 6x6 kind of broke. All right, so I get a cubicle business card thing and a stand and the cube. Okay, the outer layer is pretty good. It's a little bit slow, but not that bad. Okay, the inner layers are actually quite good as well. I like the second inner layers. Okay, now this is like where most 6x6s six six fail the very most inner layer. Wait, this is actually really good in terms of performance for the, for like each layer, it feels really nice to turn. I, um, I've seen reviews for this cube that it's a bit slow and it's honestly not that bad. I could, I could probably figure out how to make this faster, but yeah, it's really, really smooth and I, I really like that. Uh, this is my broken MGC6 for comparison. You can just listen to the sound it makes. It's so much worse. Oh wait, I popped it. Oh no. Okay. And like the inner layers especially. So for this, uh, my MGC6, you can kind of hear the grinding sound. But for this Pro Shop one, it's just like smooth. I don't know if it's this is just brand new and not broken yet, or it's the setup, but... It's definitely much better than this one. So yeah, that's all there is to this unboxing. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>